grace of the Lord. Good to be with you in your homecoming services. It ain't good to know the Lord tonight. Amen. Praise God. If you'd like to turn with us to the book of Zechariah, Old Testament book of Zechariah, chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, being the Lord's will. No wonder David said, A day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Well, I'm glad tonight. I uh, enjoyed those songs of Zion. And, you know, I'm glad because as her sister sung, because Jesus lives, we can face tomorrow. Amen. I hadn't heard that in a while, and that's a, an anointed song. But in jo Zechariah uh, chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuked thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is this not a brand plucked out of the fire? And when, I'm going to read those again. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is this not a brand plucked out of the fire? And Joshua was anointed of God. Joshua was chosen after Moses to lead the children of Israel into the land of Canaan. And the, he was there in the presence of the angel of the Lord. But Satan came. You know, we face a very real devil. We face a very real devil, but I'm glad we got a very real God to deliver us. And if, we, if God be for us, who then can be against us? Aren't you glad tonight that no matter what, when Joshua was there standing before the angel Lord, Brother Ronnie, but yet the devil came in the presence of the angel of God. We know the devil was the first of the angels one day, I, but one day he was cast out because there was a war fought in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels, and there was found no place for them. And the Bible says the, the devil, Satan, was cast out having great wrath. Yeah. We find in the book of Job that he was going to and fro up, up and down in the earth, up and down and in seeking whom yeah. that he made yeah. devour. Yeah. But you know, he's going, he's at his job today. There's so many people that you, and Brother Ronnie said opening up that it's hard to get a lot of people interested, but I'm telling you what, I'm glad there's still a remnant. Aren't you glad there's some that still love the Lord? There's still some that want to praise Him. But Joshua was anointed. But you know, the devil comes, right? You you leave church and after a good blessing and the devil will come against you. On every side you turn, the devil will come against you. You know, you run into some people and say, well, the devil don't bother them. I'd like to shake their hand because, uh, you know, if you didn't call Paul said he was that every time I stand to do good, evil is always present. But He's always there. But I'm glad there is a Holy Ghost anointing that breaks the yoke. Boy, I'm glad it takes the anointing to break the yoke of bondage. Because if not, the devil will yoke us down. There's Christians that are yoked down that really can't get deliverance in their life. There's Christians that are yoked down. But Joshua, he thought he could come in the presence of God. He thought he could come right in the presence of God's angel. He thought he could come and make a menace out of Joshua. But the Bible says the Lord said unto him, Aren't you glad when God speaks, uh, the devil has to back up? When God speaks, there's things happen. Well, you may say, well, nothing's happening in my life. But I'm glad when God speaks the Word, there is a... When God spoke the world into existence uh, thousands of years ago, when He spoke the world, and He said, let there be light. And there was a lie. I'm glad God still speaks. And, you know, and I'm glad that you said pray for the coal business. Uh, you know, God, God knows what we need in this area. And God knows how to deliver. Uh, it's not God's will that people have to struggle. But boy, aren't you glad, hallelujah, that one day after a while we're going to a place uh, where the devil can't go. I'm glad Revelation 20 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake burning with fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night 
forever and forever. Boy, but one day, one day he's going to be cast down. But until we reach that day, I'm glad, thank God, that God comes down unto us. Not that I can reach my hand up, but I'm glad he reaches his hand big, his big hand down and delivers us. But the, the Satan thought that he was going to come in the presence of the angel of God and make a menace out of Joshua. He thought he was going to attack him. But you know what? Then the Lord said unto Satan, I'm glad, thank God, when God speaks that word. And you know how many knows that in our lives we need God to speak the word. We need God to speak the word in our spirit. Hallelujah. Because He lives, we can face the Lord. And I'm glad because He lives within me. Hallelujah. Boy, I'm glad there is a Holy Ghost power that sends deliverance down. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost be three and three? Hallelujah. Well, glory. I'm glad I got a third part of the Trinity. I'm glad, hallelujah. What we've got with God is forever settled in the heavens. I'm glad when the devil comes against us and God speaks the word, then he has to back up. I'm glad that God there is a hedge, just as it was in the days of Job. There was a hedge around Job, and the devil couldn't get in unless God let down the hedge. Boy, I'm glad, thank God, we've got a hedge around us. I'm no match for the devil within myself, but aren't you glad, thank God, the Spirit of God that lives within me. Hallelujah. I'm glad that's where our deliverance comes. Hallelujah. Boy, I'm glad. The Lord said unto him, the Lord said, the Lord rebuked thee, O Satan. Is this not a brand plucked out of the fire? You know, it's easy sometimes if God takes you around something, you might not be that awfully thankful. If He takes you over something, but when God takes you through the fire, through the troubles, and God delivers you through the fire, Oh, what a testimony that's been for these years. When the arm was off. But the side of God, I'm glad. It's a testimony against the devil. Aren't you glad? Thank God. It's time the redeemed of the God to stand up and be accounted for and say, I'm tired of you, sir. He showed him all the kingdoms of the world. He thought sure that he could come against Jesus because he was in the bodily form. But I'm glad he came down to seek and save that which was lost. I'm glad he came home to seek me. Boy, I, if God wasn't lie, I was the one. You know, people say, well, they found the Lord. I mean, that's good, but I'm glad God found me. Yeah, I'm glad God found me. He said of Jacob, he said, I found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. And I led him about and I instructed him and I kept him as the apple of my eye. Boy, I'm glad, thank God, if God be for us, who can be against us? I'm glad we have got something with God. We've got the deliverance that we need. Because He lives, we can face tomorrow. And there's nothing that tomorrow holds. Because I'm glad God holds tomorrow. Boy, I'm glad God looks down. There's a day set when He's going to look over and say, Son, go get the church. Those that are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb of God. But guess what? I'm glad church tonight in this homecoming service. I'm so glad that I can proclaim that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He changes not. I've known people that's changed over the year. And, and so have you. You've known people that's changed. Some for the good, some for the worst. But God said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. I changed not. Oh, I'm glad. Thank God the same angels that cast the devil out of heaven. I'm glad. Aren't you glad we've got guardian angels? Yeah. Yeah. Well, when the devil comes against us, he'll have any time in your life as the devil comes against us. May God send deliverance. God send an angel down and you count the mouth out. How many times has God sent an angel down and gave you the deliverance? Well, I'm glad they got Well, Hallelujah! 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 H
It's worth every trouble. It's worth every trial. It's worth every tribulation that you face in order to have Jesus in life. Boy, I'm glad God dispatches angels. One day He's going to send an angel down. Stand one foot up on land and one on the sea and sound the mighty trump of God and declare that time shall be no more. And Jesus Himself shall descend down from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel. And the dead in Christ are going to rise first and we which are alive and remain. We're going to be changed. We're going to be called up together with Him in the clouds. And we're going to meet the Lord in the end. Boy, I'm glad that's a promise that the devil can't take away from you. You're glad the strong arm of God. The same God that parted the Red Sea for Moses. The same God that parted the Jordan River for Joshua. The same God that parted the Jordan River for Elijah and Elisha. Four times God parted bodies of water that's recorded in the Word. But oh, I'm glad, thank God, that the same God that spoke and there was a muddy sea bed became oh, the dry ground. In a moment of time, I'm glad to stand up. You know, the devil, all down through time, not only Joshua, he thought he could come at Moses. He thought he could come at Ezekiel. He thought he could come at Jeremiah. He thought he could come at Daniel. Remember, when Daniel was there and the decree was made that that nobody could worship the God except they get a petition. But Daniel swung out his windows overlooking Jerusalem. Yeah. And he prayed every morning, noon, and night. Didn't matter who heard him. Didn't matter who saw him. And then, as you know, Darius the Mede had a decree. And they put Daniel, as you well know, in a den of lions. Uh, it wasn't just the lions' dens where the lions were gone because the lions were there. Yeah. And he placed Daniel. But it was the king that didn't get any sleep. Because King Darius came to the, the mouth of the den the next morning and said, Oh, Daniel, is the God you serve able to deliver you? And aren't you glad he said, Yes, so King yeah. live forever? My God sent an angel and locked the jaws of the lion. Oh, the devil couldn't get Daniel. He thought he'd get his buddies. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. You remember the story how King Nebuchadnezzar had the 38 foot tall statue. And he said, ever made a decree that every time that there was instruments of music, the dulcimers and the harps and the psalters, that they had to bow down and worship Nebuchadnezzar. You know, it was easy to find those boys because everybody else was bowing down. But there was three that stood firm for Jesus. As you know the story, how the devil came and thought, well, I'll make a spectacle out of them in the front of everybody. And the Bible says the king said heat the furnace seven times hotter than it had ever been heated. It was so hot that those that threw the men in were consumed with the flames. Yeah. But then the king was able to look in and said, Behold, I thought we threw three. But there are four men walking around. Because he knows what we stand in need of. He knows we face a very mighty. He knows. Because if the angels, think about this when Moses died, God called him up out of the valley of Moab, it's recorded in the 34th chapter of Deuteronomy. Called him up out of the valley of Moab, up in the Mount Nebo, and he showed him the land that laid over against Jericho. The servant of God saw it. And he died. God buried him. The Bible says he was 120 years old. His eyes was not healed, or neither was his natural force abated. Still able to climb the mountain. Nobody knew where Moses was buried. Joshua, the son of Nun, did not know. No, no human being knew where he was buried because God buried him. 